Hey guys, it's me, MJL, and uh, we are going to, I'm here at my craft table with all my things, and today we're going to tell you what you should, like before watching a video of ours, what you should have, like in hand, like ready to go. First off, scissors. We use scissors so many times, like in our craft, it's like necessary for pretty much any craft we do it's necessary from uh, colored pencils or regular pencils to even um tablets so yeah like we need scissors so you definitely need scissors before you begin another thing is I have this big pack of sharpies I got one year for Christmas, and I like to keep them in this uh, school smart plastic pencil box, which be, would be a good um, suitcase for my project. But I like to keep them in here because I I do a lot of coloring. I prefer not to use washable marker because, like, if any anything on your hands is wet, it will smear. So, like, I make things like scrapbooks to uh to um invitation cards with them or even pencils as I showed you before to uh the tablet the tablet screen and the camera and the buttons and even a snow cone. I mean I don't like to paint nor do I really like to color but you will need Sharpies, or at least some kind of marker that doesn't dry out. And I recommend Sharpies. Another thing is my glue stick. Crayola washable glue stick. It's like the best glue stick you can have. I mean, it, it hasn't dried out, and I've had it for like four years, or somewhere around there, and it works very well. Um, so yeah, this is another thing you will need. Okay. I got this from school, so I'm not sure if it's still in stores, but yeah. Another thing you will need is a pencil. I prefer a mechanical or a lead pencil. Even one of those ones you get from the dollar store, those are fine. But I like these pencils because they are sh always sharpened, and I don't have to worry about getting the tip like off totally. And yeah. you also want to make sure it has some eraser. Mine's wearing down, so you want to stock up on erasers and pencils, definitely. And yeah, so another thing is duct tape. I have two rolls of duct tape, tie-dye and this poofy kind. Uh, now my friend KEW has skateboard kind, so we can stock up. And then uh, uh, ARO, she has a lot of duct tape. She has like four rolls, and it's like neon green, neon pink, and then some other prints. And then AEW also has some duct tape. Not only six, but thin, too, like skinny. Another thing you may need before getting started is like a, if you have toilet paper rolls, they might come in handy. So you want to make sure you can save as much as you can. And uh, also, yeah, I'll get it one second. You can watch the magical kitchen set. I got this uh, tablet of paper one year, and it's very thin paper. Yeah, and I like to uh, use it as scrap paper. See, and it's very thin, but it can come in handy. Especially like for this tablet, as I showed you, it you can kind of see through it, and then you can trace and cut all that stuff. 
So you might may need some like paper, scrap paper. I like to use scrap paper a lot, but sometimes you can't use it, so I use that. Another thing is a pen. I like to use this one. I found it at school, and yeah, it's from Big. See. And it writes lovely. It has this nice tip right here. And it writes very nicely. And, uh, yeah. Another thing you may need is... Hold on, hold on. Oops, sorry about that. Sticky notes. You may need sticky notes for some things. For example... You could use sticky notes for this. I used paper for the uh, snow cone. I st stuffed it in there, colored it blue before stuffing it in there. And yeah, so you may need sticky notes. I don't know why that's... My nieces were playing around with them, so I don't have as much, but <laughs> okay. Another thing is homemade Play-Doh. Now, um, we make it for free, like it's... You just need like three ingredients. I don't have a recipe. My mom has the recipe, but I don't. So it's like, I can't tell you it. So yeah. And I make it to make stuff like, uh, for example, pancakes that just dried. Ice cream. Or even whipped cream. And I make a lot of other things. Too. So yeah. You may need colored pencils. Etc. Um, toilet paper does come in handy sometimes. So you may need that once in a while. And yeah. Sorry I'm pausing a lot. I uh, Outside of my house. Uh, the sky is turning dark, and, uh, the wind is blowing really hard. So I'm just wondering, try to, trying to find when it's a rainstorm is coming. Kind of reminds me of a tornado, but I've never been in a tornado because, um, we live in an area that, like, has a lot of hills, so we're fine. Usually around here but yeah so that's it so uh these are some things you may need for like crafting before you get started so stock up on like we need to get some scrapbook paper but you might want some and stock up on duct tape art paper sharpies toothpicks uh, anything. And make sure you have good scissors. Right by. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, like, comment, share, and subscribe. And, uh, we hope you enjoyed this video. And way more to come. And yeah. I realize I say and yeah a lot. So yeah, sorry about that. There we go again. Okay. Um, I feel like I'm missing something, but I don't think so. Oh yeah, I am. Another thing is, you may need a stereo box for cardboard. So, once your family gets done with uh, some stereo boxes, save them up, and we use them for tablets, laptops, anything we can. Books, yeah. So yeah, bye guys, finally, bye!